NFL Super Contest gambling picks against the spread for week number six. I got five games every single week that I put my hard-earned cash on, of course, here in Tennessee. And uh, the last week, uh, excuse me, last week, week five, I went two and three against the number. And so I'm having to kind of rework my numbers a little bit, but uh, but I feel pretty good about this week's. And so we'll roll through them very quickly, and uh, and we will... We will figure this out. I'll go on and tell you, I'm overall on the season 13 and 12 against the spread. So still, you know, as far as win percentage goes, I'm still up. Unit-wise, not so much, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. (laughs) We'll start with this. The Jaguars are a two-point underdog at the Colts. Uh, The Jags, this is an easy one for me. One, I've got the Jags rated higher anyway. I thought the wrong team was favored, even in the Dome. Uh, but the Jags are 13-2-1 against the spread in their last 16 against the Colts. I don't really have to go into too much detail on that. I think the Jags are the better football uh, Excuse me, the better football team. I think they got the better quarterback. I think they got better skill players. I think they got the better defense. So I will take them even on the road to win this game, and I think they're going to win outright. So give me the two-point push there. Of course, the latest lines over at BetUS. Go and check them out as well because they powered the show. But uh, but Jags plus two. Ravens to cover four and a half on the road at the Giants. Uh, The Giants 11-23-1 against the spread in their last 35 home games. Baltimore 9-4-1 against the spread against teams with a winning record. Of course, the Giants are coming back from London. Uh, Yeah, I will take... I will take the Ravens. This feels like a good situational spot. I think the Ravens are the significantly better football team. Uh, the Ravens also, I uh, believe, 5-0 and against the spread in their last five, coming off of a spread loss. So they did not cover the spread last week against the Bengals, even though they did get the win. Uh, so I will take them to cover four and a half there. The Seattle Seahawks, a three-point underdog against the Cardinals. Now, trend-wise, this doesn't necessarily fit. Uh, but I think that Seattle is the better football team. I've got them rated higher uh, than the Cardinals. The Cardinals are 6-1 and one against the spread in their last seven at Seattle. Uh, the Seahawks, however, they are 40-19-4 against the spread their last 63 after a straight-up loss. They tend to come back and cover the week after they lose. Pete Carroll has not forgotten how to coach. I like Seattle not only to win out right here, but, uh, but also to cover the spread. Give me the three points there. With Seattle. Um, the Bengals are a one-point favorite in New Orleans. I'm taking a lot of road teams here. Uh, Seattle, of course, was the home team. But uh, but yes, the Bengals, a one-point favorite at the Saints. Uh, the Bengals 11-2 and two against the spread in their last 13 games overall. They are 7-1 and one against the spread their last eight on the road. New Orleans, 3-8 and eight in their last 11 after getting a spread win, which they did last week. I look at this. Uh, one, I think the Bengals are the significantly better football team after watching these teams this season. But two, Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase coming back home to the Dome? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, coming back down to Louisiana, they're going to try and put on a show. And I fully expect them to be able to do that against that Saints defense. Uh, I don't I don't think the Saints are a very good team this year. I don't think they're very good. And I, I don't care who's playing. I don't care if it's Jameis Winston or Andy Dalton. Uh, regardless, I think the Bengals are a way better team. Give me the Bengals minus one. Cowboys at the Eagles. Give me the Eagles to cover four and a half here. Cowboys seven and two in their last nine against the spread against the Eagles. Uh, however, the Eagles this year, four, one and one against the spread at home. I think these are different football teams. At some point, this Cooper Rush thing is going to end, and I believe it ends this weekend. Philadelphia is the best team in the NFL right now. Uh, Yes, I I say that even knowing that the Bills are widely regarded as that. I think the way that Philadelphia's offense is running is magnificent, and they've got a fantastic defense as well. Uh, They are very confusing for a lot of teams. They can run the ball. They can also throw the ball. Jalen Hurts, I would have never imagined. Um, But this is a good football team. I'm going to take them to cover the four and a half. I think there's value there. I had this, I had this closer to a touchdown. Uh, so the fact that it's only four and a half, it's actually come down from five and a half. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I, Dallas is good, and they've had a good run. But Sunday night football, I like the Eagles there. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.